hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Big P here, voice of hardcore boxing. Still the hardcore voice of boxing. Whatever it is, rain's a scramble this morning. Had a heavy sesh last night. On internet that was. So we get Paul here. Keep looking in my mirror. Have you noticed when you've been out with your mates, next day you're looking in the mirror all the time, aren't you? Peaking through blinds at 4 a.m. Just drives me mad that, you know. It's not good. But, the good news is... Good news and bad news this morning, so I'm waiting to office. The good news is... I've, uh, I'm putting together a little mini documentary about... something, I'm not going to say what, but... I've done my bit now, I've done all the filming, done the scripts, done, put it all in order. It's all sent. Just got to wait for it to be jazzed up now. It should be a week or so, but quite impressed with what I've done actually. It's amazing if you put the time in, what you get back out of it. I spent that many years laid in bed all day off my trolley. I've got a lot of time to make up on me. Right, uh, the bad news is it's Terry Peterson's funeral today, isn't it? I don't know if many people remember Terry Peterson. Ex-boxer, used to have a, a gym in Armthorpe at Tadcaster, Armthorpe, I think. On Main Road in Armthorpe. Down in Cellar. Uh, so that's a bit of sad news. And then I got a text last night, about 11 o'clock, off uh, Pete Bell. I know we're going for his cancer. Check today, he's 70, Pete. Uh, he's got... Terminal cancer, Pete Bell. How bad is that? I don't, not many people will know Pete Bell. I'll tell you a little story about him, shall I? He was head gym officer. I should say gym screw, but because I get on with him now, he's a gym officer. <laughs> Look, he was head gym screw at Lindon Prison, right? And he was tough, but he was fair. And he used to do all charity stuff for end of year. You know, where inmates had signed two pound out of the private cash. Brendan England bring all boxers, wouldn't he? Johnny Nelson, Ryan Rhodes, all them lot, they'd all come. They'd all come and they'd spar with inmates and then you put your name in the hat and you get picked out. I never got picked out that year. 1995, all good said. But, good bloke Pete, and so it's not stuffing at me that. Just, he's going to find out how long he's got, I think, shortly. But, Life is very short, so very, very short. Compete there, don't smoke, kept a steady good nick all his day, 100 sit ups, 100 press ups a day. Press up mad, circuit training all the time in there. Used to beat lads. And, uh, I don't know. Lane were Ian. So, I feel, uh, Feel for Pete and his family and he watches Pete watches show, so hope you well Pete. That'll be nice, that is it. Uh, Dennis is in Dubai at the moment, so there's no I can I've told him, but there's no we can do till he comes back, but I think I'm gonna go see Pete on my own. But Pete Bell, for those who didn't know, he was the guy who took Jamie McDonald to Dennis. When he were eight, two, and one, he said, "You've got a good kid here, Dennis." Dennis says, "Oh yeah, I'll have a look at him." We all know the story, don't we? Dennis took him to Olympics. Said, "This, this is how you train. This is how you eat." 2008 Olympics. Obviously, he weren't in the Olympics, but he took Jamie out there. Got him a Mercedes. Looked after him. 
and they went on a great run together and it's a great story and his pictures are still up in office personally I won't put them up myself but people move on don't they and I dwell on things I've got a long fucking memory but they went on a great run 13 and Owen is a world class fighter he might not be now so nobody can knock what they achieved together can they and it all started from Pete Bell so Den's gutted for Pete it's not nice that is it not nice to, you know cancer you just don't know when your time's up do you get me 50 year old in October big 5-0 gulping air there uh, in a, anyway in other news that's a bit more positive well I don't know if this is positive is it Josh won it in many go round isn't it done a video about it He's at Matchroom, he's at Queensbury, he's gone back to Matchroom now. You could see old Frank Warren, did you see him doing shoulder roll in that interview on seconds out? Lawyers will be on call. Now I think I think Frank's mellowed a bit now, hasn't he? The main argument is this, and what this is what I've been saying for months. Who wants to watch Kid Galahad in a fight? He's in stinkers. Yeah, they were in a half decent one at weekend. I think people are getting carried away with all this. Oh, you're in a great fight. It were half decent, it weren't great. It, it were a little bit smelly. But it wasn't as smelly as what they always are, them fight season. It was smelly, all right? But not that smelly. So stop getting carried away, all you people saying you were in a great fight. I didn't think it were that great. So, but that's my opinion, isn't it? I'm entitled to it. You're a great fight, Porky, you're a hater. Jog on, you want that great. Great fights, Ward Gatti, Froch Kessler, they're great fights. But, uh, so like I said in that video last night, Galahad, he's going to go to Eddie, he, sorry, he's with Eddie Earn, isn't he? Waddington's going to Eddie Earn, Waddington takes his belt, he doesn't have to fight his mandatory Galahad, so Eddie moves the guy into position for Galahad, to fight the number two ranked guy because he's ranked number one so he gets a belt without having to fight an hard fight against Warrington because Warrington against Galahad rematch is a 50-50 fight isn't it and everybody will try and score it for Galahad because it's all hoorah Henry stuff from the first one where they were all whining Had Warrington winning by two rounds but they give him something to hold on to didn't they so they push for this mandatory now Frank Warren's just had his last fight with Warrington and he don't want the Galahad Warrington fight, does he? So he's gone to Eddie Hearn now. Josh Warrington's got to do it best for him, hasn't he? Am I pleased for Josh Warrington? I don't know. I'm pleased for Nick Manners because he's a pal of mine. But uh So, good boxing bloke, Nick. Never took a penny out at sport. He's one of the good guys. He's not one of the snakes. And you know who you are, you snakes. Don't you? You know. You know. Keep watching though, don't you? But, so that's about it, really. So, I've got a few meetings today. I'm a bit early. Preparation is key. I put them hours in. I put them hours in bank. Although I'd rather be laid in bed with a big bifter. I don't even smoke that no more. It's happening to me. Got an old company man, aren't I? Turn that off, man. Bit in my ass. Fresh air. <laughs> He's got a long way to jog back. Jogging in the morning, man. Joggers are helmets, I think. They're just get in way, don't they, on road? They do all cyclists, they get in way as well. Good at way. I won't knock a cyclist over. They do get in way, though, don't they, cyclists? 
or people driving Volvo estates, you know, with caravans. They do my head in. And when you get behind them, you just want to bounce them into the wall, don't you? Go and get out of it. 40 mile an hour in a 70. Road raging. Uh, been talk been talking to this guy I know from Leicester. He goes, oh, I know a guy who owns who owns a pork scratching company. So goes, oh yeah, you get me any free pork scratchings. So what do we have to do? Sit there with a big t-shirt on on show. With a t-shirt on. Pork scratchings. <laughs> it's a bit cringe that isn't it? Break your teeth as well though, don't they? Go on then! You're lame, man! Yeah. So, it's all looking good, isn't it? I hope you all like my video of the day. Videos are not going out quick enough for my liking. So I'm gonna have to uh, bring it up with my man. Need to get him out quicker. Well, I'll have to put him out, but I can't jazz him up, can I? Because they have been looking a little bit the better the videos, haven't they, lately? I'm just trying to change it up a bit. It's, people have to understand they'll we'll keep having a little dig in emails that I'm not from a tech world or a, these people that are doing this, uh, the jazzing channel up, they're from a uh, film and TV industry and these people have to be paid, <laughs> they're not cheap but I'm not from a tech world so you know there's, there's a lot of stuff that can be tweaked on channel to make it look better and get you more views and subscribers but we're trying to, I'm trying to learn on job aren't I here, best I can but uh, Shout out to Steve from Wales. Sorry that you can't make it at the show. I'm JR Ewing. When I pack this in, I'll be coming for a job on oil, oil rigs with you, Steve. <laughs> Will I, heck? Can work. I'm gonna work for no one. But, yeah, I can't make it. It's a long way to come, in it, Barnsley? But next Friday, the show. Uh, Yeah. Next Friday show, so let's just get this show out of the way. Get wins for Cash Alley, Keenan Wainwright. Go on then, Josh Whale, Sophia Ahmed, Fuki's lad, that German girl that Dennis has signed, undefeated. Richard Towers is training her. I saw her running round EIS training track up at the where Olympians trained last week, or a week before, like a gazelle. But Cash Alley were doing some fast 200 metre times for a big lump, big six foot five lump. I was impressed. Looks like Richard's got him in shape. Look at him here, in Laurie. But uh, so it's all good, I suppose. And if we're getting any nice positive news today for the channel, we're gonna see. We will see, but. Tickets are still available, 21st February, Barnsley Metrodome. Good card. Good card. So, alright. So if you haven't got a ticket, get in touch with Barnsley Metrodome and get your tickets. We'll uh, put a picture up, Cam, for the thumbnail of the fight poster. Alright. Instead of sticking one up at Eddie Earns head with a shred of wheat on top of it and that smug grin that he's got. Isn't that right Eddie? Alright. Oh. What do you to that there? S350. They're doing that to wind me up. He's doing that to wind me up. Don't mind that. <laughs> You're in my spot. Why 
rang him up now and it's my dream car isn't it, that's 350 Merc. Wind up merchants. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing, shout out to SYPS, Innovation Alloys, AJ Hobson, Sheffield. Alright, so... Ta-ta! <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.